Jellyfish. It's the 21st of November, 2017. On Newsweek, the holiday season is here. It's time to pour on the fear factor. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade after isis link truck attack in New York City. Is it safe to attend? And it was posted by Julia Glum at 3.22 p.m. Yeah. So more than three million people are expected to stand along New York City's cold streets on Thursday to watch the 91st Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. An annual spectacle of lavish floats, giant balloons, and celebrity performers. This year, many revelers will likely be thinking about more than the turkey they're going to eat later in the day. They'll be worrying about security, given that the parade is taking place less than a month after the deadliest terror attack in the city since 9-11. But don't worry, Mayor de Blasio is on the job. And he's going to have his sand trucks, heavy weapons teams, observation teams, dogs, drones, helicopters, snipers. We're doing everything to ensure a safe venue. So come out and enjoy the day. But if you see something, say something. Eight people, after all, died. And several were injured on Halloween when this dude, the 29-year-old, Ran over a bunch of people. So be scared. Be very scared. Forgive my sarcasm. I have to. I can't help it. It's an outlet. So they post this. Make sure that you're good and primed for the season, right? And this is all well and good. And I can't explain how this goes, how this happens. But I check this Jewish calendar pretty much every day sometimes not but whatever and this is posted and I go to check my calendar and today in daily Jewish history is they're celebrating this uh, Emma Lazarus she's the one who wrote the sonnet on the Statue of Liberty and they always use this line to push their agendas give us your tired see they hit on the emotion that's what they do. But in, in, nonetheless, the Statue of Liberty, Emma Lazarus. I can't help this stuff. I have to follow it when I'm led to follow it. Let me just show you something real quick. We won't even go over her Sephardic Jewish life that was very short, by the way. And we won't even go over in detail her sonnet here. But if you're so inclined, if you don't already know this stuff, I'm pretty much addressing those who happen along here that don't fully understand the world they live in and don't know Jesus. If you know Jesus, hallelujah, you can just watch for fun. And you need to understand the world that you live in and the illusion that you're kept under in order to quite literally steer you from the narrow gate to keep you from knowing your Lord and Savior. That's what it does. That's what it's there for. And this little poem, man, it explains everything. The torch whose flame is imprisoned lightning. Come on now. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Really? I'm going to link something for you guys that I really suggest you go and look at if you don't know anything about this stuff. Oh, and by the way, they just lit the Olympic torch which is on its way to South Korea. I mean, come on, folks, really? This is what they do. And they mean it. They're, they're not just doing this for show. And by they, I mean these dark powers and principalities. This is real to them. They're paying homage to their master, to their daddy, who this all represents. And it's all hidden from you in plain view. But yeah, uh, isn't that strange that Miss Emma Lazarus died on the same day as Charles Manson, exactly 130 years ago, which adds up to 23, by the way. Manson, let's see, what was he? He was 83. Hmm, Emma was 38. Wow. See, these are the kind of connections that are given to me that lead me to just illustrate this stuff. And, you know, whatever. 
I pray that you know Jesus, and if you don't, that you ask him into your heart. If you really want to understand the world you live in and what the, the gift of life that's waiting for you, all you need to do is ask. Anyway, <laughs> I had to stop this from rendering and show you this. You want to talk about your mind being blown? Well, well, let me tell you, my mind is thoroughly blown. We were just talking about this sonnet here and how it's used to keep you from the narrow gate and to deceive you and so on and so forth. Well, very often in the morning, primarily, I will go and I will type in random Bible verse and I will just choose one of these and click it and that's it. And today I click this one. Look what I got. You, you. I couldn't even conceive of making this stuff up. Enter ye at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. I pray that you find it. Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 